In this video, I am going to teach you how you can detect univariate outlier from the data set. So as we already know that univariate outlier only deals with single variable. So here you can see there are multiple variables. Um, PD, PD stands for personal development, S stands for satisfaction, M for motivation, L for leadership. So here you can see uh, in order to measure personal development there are five questions. So I am going to use this particular variable personal development and I am going to detect univariate outlier from this these variables. So I am going to use all the five questions because all these questions represent personal development which is a single variable. So let's start the process. In order to perform univariate outlier you have to go to analyze, descriptive statistics and descriptives. So as you can see there are two boxes in this in the left side uh, left box you can see there are uh, there is a list of variable that we have, we have created and the other box the right side of the box is empty. So I am going to use personal development and I am going to detect outlier from this variable. So there are five questions. So I am going to use all the five questions. Let's select all the five questions and move it to another box. So basically to, de to detect univariate outlier we have to calculate z scores. Basically z score is a standardized value and based on the benchmark of z score we will identify which case is an outlier. So here at the bottom of the window you can see there is an option save standardized values as variable. So don't forget to check this variable because by checking this you can you you will be able to calculate z score of all the five series right now you are ready to go press ok at the moment we don't want to see any table so we will go to variable view as you can see new five variables have been generated zpd1 zpd2 so they all are z score of pd1 z score of pd3 so let's go to data view tab just go at the end now here you can see z score series of each variable has been generated now you know the benchmark you have to just sort the series accordingly and see whether the values are meeting the criteria. If it is meeting the criteria, it means uh, that the particular case is not, the cases are not, uh, they are not outliers. But if it is not meeting the criteria, it means outlier does exist in the data set. So first identify and then remove. So one by one, I'm going to identify, let's say PD1. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to see uh, the values in, uh, the negative values and then I'm going to see the positive values. So here I'm going to sort ascending. So here you can see um, I have some outliers because the threshold value is minus 3.29 but here you can see the values are greater than minus 3.29. So let's see how many values are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are six values as you can see there are six cases which are outlier so now you have detected the outlier just select all the six options all the six cases press right click just right click and clear so now what you have done you have just identified the cases which are outliers and then removed it. Now I'm going to see the positive side. So sort of sendings, there is no outlier. Let's see. Sort of sending. 
there is no outlier in the negative side and there is no outlier in the positive side. Similarly, I'll follow the same procedure and yes, I can see outlier. I can see some values which are not meeting the criteria. So let's say 1, 2, 3. So starting three values in Z, P, D4 in this series are outlier. So again, I follow the same procedure. I will select all the three cases which Z scores are not meeting the criteria. So right click and remove it. So now again I'm going to sort descending to see the positive side of the values and all the values are okay. They all are meeting the criteria. Now the last series sort ascending. There is no outlier. Sort descending. Again there is no problem. There is no outlier. So in ZPD1 and ZPD3 we detected some outlier. We detected some cases as outlier and then we removed it. So this is all about, uh, this is all we, we do in identifying and detecting and removing univariate outlier. Thank you.